Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into the exciting world of programming by exploring QBasic. I am your host and I can't wait to guide you through the advantages and disadvantages of this classic programming language. So let's get started. First thing first, what exactly is QBasic? QBasic stands for Quick Beginners All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code and is a simple yet powerful programming language developed by Microsoft. First version of QBasic was released on 1985. It served as a fantastic starting point for many programmers, including myself, and I'm excited to share its pros and cons with you. Advantage number one, QBasic is easy to learn and use, designed for beginners. It provides a user-friendly environment and help aspiring programmer grasp fundamental concepts. With its simplified syntax and intuitive commands, QBasic allows you to focus on learning programming principles without getting overwhelmed by the complex code structure. Another great advantage is QBasic's power to enhance logical thinking and problem-solving skills. By working with QBasic, you will develop a systematic approach to break down a complex problem into smaller manageable tasks. This programming language helps sharpen your analytical mindset preparing you for more advanced programming language in the future. It's like mental gymnastic for your brain. QBasic is also a fantastic educational tool, making it the fourth advantage on our list. Many school and institutes use a QBasic to introduce programming to students because of its simplicity and excellent documentation. It's a fantastic stepping stone to ignite a passion for coding and create a solid foundation in the world of programming. Now, let's move on the flip side. Yes, even a QBasic has a few drawbacks. Uh -oh. The first disadvantage revolves around QBasic's limitations. While QBasic is excellent for beginners, it's not suitable for complex software development or advanced graphical interfaces. Its simplicity, which is an advantage for newcomers, can be a disadvantage when working on more demanding projects. However, keep in mind that QBasic still serves as a valuable learning tool. Another drawback is QBasic's compatibility. As an older programming language, QBasic may encounter compatibility issues with the modern operating system. This means that running QBasic on newer computer might require additional step or virtual machine to ensure smooth execution. But hey, that's a part of learning process in the world of programming. But wait, why don't you use QBasic a lot now? Well, think of it like an old game. That is still fun but there are newer games with cooler features. QBasic doesn't have all the fancy things that today's computer needs. You might wonder, why do we learn QBasic in school? It's like training wheels for a bike. QBasic helps us learn the basics before moving on the harder stuff. To wrap it up, QBasic is a fantastic language for beginners due to its ease of use and its ability to foster logical thinking. It serves as a great educational tool, encouraging students to explore the exciting realm of programming. However, it does have its limitation and compatibility challenges. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this guide to QBasic helpful. Also, don't forget to join our Telegram channel and Discord community to receive regular updates on new notes. Ask questions and chat with me directly. The link to join are in the description too. Now it's your turn. Let us know in the comment if you had any experience with QBasic. Or if you are excited to give it a try, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech and programming content. Until next time, happy coding!